said, we are from Oklahoma Christian Academy. And the way that we're going to change our school is by changing the culture. We're going to improve our school by implementing a contributor culture. And this just means that instead of become, being consumers in the world, we're contributing back to our school and our community. So the way we started going about finding out how we're going to do this presentation is by trying to identify the problem. So that led us to start <laughs> talking about some of the experience that we had at, had at OCA. So I'm going to share one with you. So we have a band program at our school, but our school is really small. So it's only four years old. And when they first started, if you've ever heard a beginning band, it sounded a little less like music and more like a, someone trying to scream to get out of a room. <laughs> yeah. So, because our school is, like I said, so small, there was nowhere you could go to get away from it. So, every student in our whole school thought that the band really didn't have much skill. Unbeknownst to most of the student body, though, they had worked ty tirelessly in order to improve themselves. And they were going to competitions and bringing back trophies and medals. But for the first two or three years, none of us actually knew because our communication was so bad. And on top of that, Every Monday during our school year last year, we bring leaders of small nonprofit organizations around our metro area. And they would come in and talk, and it would be good talks, but some people would take advantage of, oh, it's just one of those talks. And so they talk while they're talking and usually go to sleep sometimes. And that's just not respectful to the person that's talking. And that's just not good participation to that event. So, once we explained all of these experiences, we realized that that was our problem. But then more than that, we realized that a contributor culture was our solution. So then we tried to think about what a contributor culture actually was. And when we started doing this, we realized that Jesus' life was the perfect example. Jesus is renowned throughout the Bible for traveling miles on foot in order to get to a village to talk to them. And then when he was at the village, he decided that he was going to minister to them and heal them. And it didn't matter if he was tired because he was going to stay there for days. And then if he wasn't traveling somewhere to contribute, or contributing actively, he was talking to the Father saying, hey, can you give me some more energy to contribute? And that's exactly the, the contributor culture that we want to create at OCA. And it actually made us think of this verse, Ephesians 5, 1 through 2. Imitate God, therefore, in everything you do, because you are his dear children. Live a life filled with love, following the example of Christ. He loved us and offered himself as a sacrifice for us, a pleasing aroma to God. And we believe that this is going to drive this process and this initiative past the OCA, OCA community and into our community just as Edmund and hopefully impact the whole world. And in order to do that, impact the whole world, we're going to need to focus on three things. Communication, participation, and cultivating a contributor mindset. So like Ryan said, we need to focus on communication and participation. So we're going to start with communication by hopefully spreading the word about many things that are going on in our school. And we really want to focus on representing everyone equally so that way our participation should go up. And by lacing the contributor mindset through the participation and things they participate in, we really hope it will be in, um, easier to introduce a contributor culture to our entire school. So communication. Since we were going to talk about communication, we thought this would be a good time to communicate to you that this picture and all of the other pictures you're about to see are all taken by Parker Ashworth from service days from our last uh, school year. So all of the people in these are actual OCA eagles trying to give back to the community. So all of these pictures mean something to us. We wanted to let you know that they actually are relevant. So keep that in mind for the rest of the project. Okay, so a main way we want to emphasize communication at our school is representation and event awareness. Representation means we would represent football as much as we represent tabletop gaming club. It would all be equal. So event awareness would mean we just tell everyone about everything that's going on so they can't be like, I didn't know that was happening. We would be emphasize the fact that we tell everyone constantly so they know everything that's going on. And we plan on showing this representation and this event awareness through media. And obviously, 
we know that media comes in multiple different kinds. So we plan on doing this through social media, through a bulletin board, through a TV, and even through posters. So we're going to tell you about some more specific ways we're going to incorporate that into OCA. One of those media is, like Becca said, is posters. And posters will be put up everywhere around the school, whether it's in the hallways, on doors, on bulletin boards that are around the school. And they will let you know all of the information happening with academics, athletics, drama, fine arts, and tabletop gaming club. Um, so something you have to understand about our school is it's a donut, so it's just one big hallway, and we're all in the same building. So our goal with this communication is to put it everywhere so that people can't say they didn't know about something because it was everywhere. So one main way is we have this TV in our lobby. So we want to create a, a news announcements and things like that to put on that TV to be played on a loop throughout the school day. And like Parker said, our school is a donut. So if something's in the hallway, you really can't get away from it. So another thing we want to make sure that we capitalize on is we have a humongous bulletin board in the middle of our hallway. So we want to make sure that we really capitalize on this. So we were thinking that if we take some of the monthly things that are going on throughout the school year and we put them on this bulletin board and we uh, recognize all the different aspects of OCA and all the different events that are going on, that if you realize I can only live my, leave my house three days in August because I'm a sad little teenager, that you know exactly what events that you want to go to. So the next thing we want to implement is participation. Um, a big problem in our school is we have lots of things going on, but we only have the same 30 people coming to each event. So we really want to spread it throughout our entire school. One thing we have at our school that we started about two years ago was called Eagles to Eaglets. And it's essentially a mentoring program where we start with high schoolers and they mentor middle schoolers and together they mentor elementary players. So um, about a year after we started it, it kind of just died off and everyone forgot about it. So it's something we really want to start back up again because it was a very good idea. Also, we have new student events. OCA is really good about incorporating new students into our student body. For instance, we have a new student mixer and we also have a fine arts mixer. And they're kind of self-explanatory. Whenever we want to invite all the new students together, and usually they hang out with SLC members, otherwise known as Student Leadership Council members. And that's a way to just get an idea of what OCA really is. Same for Fine Arts. We invite new students to come and meet the Fine Arts teachers and kind of get a feel for what's going on. And although we do have those, we want to capitalize on them and then expand and incorporate more new student events. That way the new students really feel like they're a part of the student body. And we've all been new students before, and you know how lonely you usually are on your first day. So one of the things that we're going to put in is a thing called Lunch Buddies. And that is where the Student Leadership Council members will go in and sit at one table, and they'll sit every other chair. And in the empty seat in between is where a new student will go. And the SLC members throughout the lunch period will talk to them and get to know them better so they don't feel lonely like you Okay, so the last thing we're really planning to implement is, so at our school, open house is after school starts. So this, spread your wings and meet new people, is kind of a laid back open house that's family friendly that people can bring their friends to, come meet their new classmates, and everyone can kind of get to know each other before the school year starts. And through all of these encouragements of participation, we want to make sure that we also incorporate the freshmen and the sophomores. So in the past, we had people that came to PLI, and they had amazing ideas. They incorporated to our student body, and they definitely changed OCA for the better. But then they graduate, and then they die off. So we want to make sure that we learn from their mistakes, and that we take that, and we make sure that we push forward and help the next generation carry on. Also, like we said in the beginning, we want to cultivate a contributor mindset. Now obviously through our communication and our participation, we're going to be making sure that we slowly help people understand what this means. But we also thought of some more specific events that we can hold that will really emphasize and show people the value of a contributor mindset, which is so integral to our contributor culture. So something we did last year is service days. Each semester we have one day where we just dedicated the entire school day to service and doing things around the school or around the community. 
Um, a lot of students really enjoyed that and they really felt like it impacted something bigger than them and they said they wanted more. So we're going to talk to administration about having more of those so they have something to look forward to so they can contribute back to school. And one of the other things that we have done is create a kindness, in kindness initiative. And we started that about two years ago as well as one of the things they took from here. Is that we had one month in the entire school year where it was like dedicated to kindness. And in that, there would be um, encouraged, so like the Student Leadership Council would take early in the morning meeting and they would write notes on sticky notes and they go stick them on everyone's locker. So everyone gets an encouraging note for the day and they did it like twice a week. And then another is a pull a nice note. So paper with like little tabs. And you pull a tab and it's got an encouraging Bible verse or a saying or a quote. That'll just make you feel loved and get you through the entire day. And then a compliment box. We'd have a piece of paper and you'd write a compliment to someone and then drop it in the box. And then teachers would type them up and deliver them to the students that they're about. And then when they would read them, a student would video them and their reaction, how they felt when they got that in a recap video. So all of these things are there to help cultivate that contributor mindset. But obviously, like we said in the beginning, our big vision for what this could be is that it could reach around the whole world, possibly even all of the people around us and really make a difference. But we also realize that we need to start small. So we want to start with SLC, the Student Leadership Council. And then we slowly want to go out to all of OCA. Then maybe Edmond and then Oklahoma, and then maybe all the United States. So we're shooting for the stars, but we also understand that we need to start at OCA. So that's why a lot of these things, the service day and the kindness initiative, start with us and will hopefully fan out to the rest of our community. And communication, participation, and a contributor mindset will be very essential and lead OCA to a contributor culture. Thank you.